Decoding the term lowering in English. Hello everyone, in today's video, we will dive deep into the English language to understand the term lowering. By the end, you'll have a clear grasp of what it means, how to use it, and why it's important in English. Lowering can be a verb or a noun depending on its usage. As a verb, it primarily means to move or bring down. As a noun, it refers to the act or state of being lowered. Let's explore this further. 1. As a verb, she is lowering the flag. 2. As a noun, the lowering of prices is due to the sale. While lowering fundamentally means bringing something down, its meaning can vary slightly depending on the context. 1. Physical movement, he's lowering his voice. This means that he's speaking more quietly. 2. Decrease in amount, intensity. There's a lowering of temperatures this week. This signifies that the temperatures are decreasing. 3. Demeanor or mood, she had a lowering expression. This indicates a gloomy or sullen facial expression. English has several phrases and expressions that involve the word lowering. Here are a few. 1. Lower one's gaze. This means to look down, often out of respect or shyness. 2. Without lowering oneself. This means without degrading or demeaning oneself. 3. Lowering the bar. This suggests reducing standards or expectations. Many learners often confuse lowering with other terms. Here are some clarifications. 1. Lowering versus lowing. While lowering means to bring down, lowing refers to the sound made by cattle. 2. Lowering versus louvering. Louvering relates to installing louvers, slatted devices, on windows or doors. Understanding terms like lowering and their nuances can greatly enhance your English proficiency. We hope this video has been enlightening and has elevated, see what we did there, your language skills. Keep practicing and we'll see you in the next video.